Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Gaming Talk. Today we're going to be talking about something that is what I felt was an awesome announcement and was just one of the most amazing things I've heard. Uh, I love the series, and it's Rock Band 4. Yeah, they're coming out with a Rock Band 4, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you! Another reason to rock out and look like a total jackass in your room thinking you're a goddamn rock star. That'd be me. Um... So, ladies and gentlemen, let's jump into this. I've played Rock Band. I got into Guitar Hero on the PlayStation 2. I wasn't into the DJ Hero thing. I tr What was the reason? I tried Guitar Hero because the 80s one. That's what got me into Guitar Hero was the 80s edition. Uh, they had that, and I loved 80s music. So, I decided, hey, let me give this game a try. Rented it when I was at Blockbuster. Loved it. Bought it. Bought the other ones. Played them all, and they're all fantastic Great games, great music, great games. And I mean, you know, and it introduced me to songs that I've never, you know, heard before that I just fell in love with. So thanks to that, you know, other artists that, you know, I might not have listened to before, I listen to them now because of that. Uh, these games came with some great music, you know, from great artists from over different years and genres. Well, not genres, but, you know, what kind of genres? Uh, different kinds of rock genres. Uh, you have it from, you know, different bands that you might not have heard of, you know. Bands you probably wouldn't even thought of listening to or looked at it like, nah, that's not my type of music. I would never, you know, listen to that music. You listen to the song, you're like, ah, that's a pretty cool song. Who play? Oh. Let me give it another try. So, you know what? And know what? Not every song in the in the rock band uh, game series or guitar hero game series is going to make, you know, you're not going to like them all, you know. Because, you know what, we all have different tastes. But so far, for the most part, almost every single song that was on there, I loved it and enjoyed it. Now let's get into this, bad boy. So, Rock Band 4. All DLC songs that you have purchased and all the DLC songs in the library will carry over to Rock Band 4 onto the new console. How is that possible? They didn't specify. Harmonix said they are working closely on getting this to happen. Because they know that you spent money on your console and the games and the music to play them on. It's just not fair that you have a huge, like, say, for most of you out there that are, like, really into this, who probably have, like, almost, let's say, let's say about 80 or so songs. I'm just going with 80 songs. But I know a lot of you out there have a lot more than that, that you've downloaded from the library. And you get the Rock Band 4 and you can't play those songs anymore? That's kind of sad, disappointing. You know, you're like, I have all these downloadable songs that I can play. So that means I have to go back to my Rock Band 3 or Rock Band 2 and play them on that, on the older system. I know, that sucks, right? Harmonix is like, you know what? We feel for you guys and we know that you guys don't want to have to do all that stuff. And you know what? We love you guys so much. We're going to help you guys out there and try to give you everything we can that you love about Rock Band and help you carry it over to the Rock Band 4. Now, with that being said, this is... a uh, it's long. It's a, you know. It's a, it's been a a, pro, a process. Um, over ninety five percent of the uh, library will be brought over to the PS four uh, to Rock Band four. You want to know why? It's just a little bit over ninety five percent licensing. People license, license, license. Um, so it's just basically license uh, requirements. So they have to reacquire, redo all this stuff. Basically, they have to do go back to all the the uh, licensing rights that they had before to use it before. And basically work on a new contract deal to basically be able to do this kind of stuff for us. So hopefully the guys that issue license and the, the people that they deal with will say yes. Because you know what? And all in all, it's just going to help people reach new people that would have never reached before. And I think that's just beneficial for them as well. But yes. And I know a lot of people are like, what about our, what about my guitar? What about the peripherals I've had before the previous ones? Well... They're working on that too. They're working on a way to get you guys to get the peripherals that you've used before to be brought onto the Rockman 4. Yes, it was USB and it was through a wireless transmitter. They're trying to get they're trying to get a way to get that workaround to be able to do a backwards compatible kind of thing going on with that. They're working with Mad Cats and um, Yeah, they're trying to get that going. Microsoft they're having some technical issues with to do it on the Xbox One. So we'll see how this goes and how it works for them. But you know what? 
I'm glad that they're actually, you know, doing their best to give us, you know, a great experience and an easy transition into a newer console and helping us, you know, deal with this. Because it's actually a pretty cool thing to do, to do for, you know, the fans that are of this game series. And also people who become new fans, be able to, you know, get some of the older game, the songs and stuff like that and bring them on in. You know, that's a beautiful thing for them to do. And, yeah, no keyboard this time around. What? What did you say? No keyboard? Yeah, they just said no. We're sticking with the main. The main peripherals. Guitar, bass, drums, and microphone. That is it, folks. No bass anymore. No key. I mean, no bass. No, no keyboard. So you won't have that keyboard like you did in Rock Band 3. I know. I know. That sucks. It would have been cool to keep them all, but you know what? They said no. So unfortunately, we're not going to have that. No pro guitar or key support. Yeah, like Rock Band 3, you had a pro guitar that you could use. Uh, so yeah, no pro guitar or key support. Wilson Pro Pro Mode for drums. Yep, Pro Mode for drums. Then we got uh, the dishes that they're coming out with. Band in a Box. So of course it goes with the guitar, drums, and the uh, microphone. There's no other guitar for the bass, so that's it. The next one is... The uh, guitar bundle. Again, just the wireless Fender Stratocaster, which will be on the other one as well, and just a game. That's it. Now, a special guitar from, with artwork from Gabe from Penny, uh, from Penny Arcade Web Comic. Available through pre order at Harmonix Booth during PAX East. So if you're at PAX East, that's the only way you can get that exclusive guitar peripheral. That is it. And yeah, I mean, Rock Band 4 is coming. He said later on this year, we will see how, you know, when it will come out and what we will get and what kind of uh, awesome stuff to, you know, to look forward to. Like the music. They have not seen anything listed for the uh, upcoming music lists. But you know what? Go to, go to their, uh, their Twitter page. Tweet them up, you know, what you want to know about this, what songs you would like to see in it. Let me know what songs you would like to see into the new Rock Band 4 that was not released on previous Rock Band system, uh, Rock Band games, or that was not in the down downloadable content. So, you know what? I'm Grim Reaper. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Leave a comment below. And I'll be getting you guys back with more of this stuff, more about Rock Band when I find out more stuff. More gameplay footage, more talks, more curses, more recommendations, and more just being awesome like you guys out there. I'll see you next time. Bye.